Okay, so I hope the lighting's decent and everything. Um, as you can see, I now have purple hair, so if you've not watched that video, that should be the last one that I uploaded, I hope. So today I thought I'd do a little q and A. I've asked a few questions on my Instagram, which I've screenshotted to answer. Um, yeah, so I hope, hopefully I've got enough to make this a good video. Um, so yeah, I'll get into the video and answer these questions. Okay, so the first one is five favourite pieces in my wardrobe. Um, I'm going to show you these. So, sorry about the different colour hair. Um, I already filmed these try-on clips for my Q&A, but they, when I went back to edit, they're out of focus. <laughs> so, I am filming them again. So this is my top five favourite items in my wardrobe at the moment. So the first one's these shorts. They're very cute, from Zara. I have just ordered them in black though, but they're too small, even though they're the exact same size, which is kind of annoying me. Yeah, I just think they're cute. Don't really know what else to say about them. Next thing, again, is this top, because I've put it on to show you. It's just the Zara basic bodysuit. You know, just the high neck one that everyone's got. Love it, love it, love it. The next thing in my top fives is this jacket. Doesn't obviously go with these shorts, but I'm gonna put it on anyway. Just a cropped denim jacket from Topshop. I got this last year. I don't think they have it in stock anymore, but I'll try and tag something similar. But really like it. Four. Okay, I'm very warm right now with this on, but this is my next favourite item. It's this hoodie from the Brooklyn Brewery. I got it while I was in New York, so it's comfy and long. And it's got a cute pattern on the back, which I like. Um, and it's just the perfect hoodie, really, because it's oversized and it's long and it's cosy. And I don't know if they have a website. If they have a website, I'll link it, but I'm not 100%. Um, but I really like it. So on to the fifth one. Right, so this cardigan, also from Zara, which is like a cute... Just a crisscrossy tie waist. So yeah. It's very cute. You can wear it like different ways. So just wear it open or just like a loose tie like this. But I absolutely love it. That is one of my faves. So yeah, that's my top five favourite items in my wardrobe at the moment. Okay, so the next one is favourite clothing brands. So I like quite a few, like I tend to shop loads of different places, so I'm going to say number one's Primark because um, I always get my jeans and stuff from there, just because they're, they're so cheap that like I wear them to work and stuff and if they kind of get a bit ruined it doesn't matter too much. Um, and I actually really like the way they fit, so that's good. Um, so that's one. Two, I really like Zara just for like basic pieces, like I've got a, a couple of their basic bodysuits and stuff. Um, and the shorts I'm wearing now, which I absolutely love. So that's two. Three. Oh, this is a hard one. I really like H&M at the moment because I think they've got some really cute, like, summery tops. Was that three? Yeah, four. Ooh. I'm just having a look at my wardrobe to see what stuff I like the best. Okay, I'm going to say Pretty Little Thing because I order quite a lot of there. Um, five. Ooh. Oh god, I don't actually know. Where else do I shop? Just let me look at my favourite pieces. I'm just gonna say Topshop. I know it's expensive, but I love their um, awesome jeans and I've had a few dresses and stuff that I really like from there. Okay, so the next one is Dream Job. Um, I don't know. Like, I really like doing all this social media and YouTube stuff, but that's probably going to be, that's a long time until that could possibly become a job. But I would love to have my own bar, which is like my ultimate goal. Even if I YouTube took off and I got a career in that, I'd still open my own bar because I just, I just, that's something I've, I've, I'd love to do. And I, I'd really want to do like the interior. And it's just so exciting to like make your own cocktail menu, that sort of thing. So yeah, that's definitely, I'd say, was my dream job. Would you ever dye your hair? <laughs> 
Um, this was asked <laughs> before I dyed my hair. <laughs> but before, before when, when this was asked, before, when I had blonde hair, yeah, that was dyed as well. I get a full head of highlights. This is only like a wash in, wash out. So, yeah, definitely I would dye my hair. <laughs> How do you become so tom confident? Honestly, I need your tips. That's so sweet. But th literally the only tip I can really give, which has helped me massively, was literally just following people on Instagram who made me feel good, so like real people. So I unfollowed all these like fake people that who I knew like maybe photoshopped their images or smoothed out, smoothed out their skin and just followed real people who looked like me and it made me so much more confident. And then when I started my own account that like helped a lot more as well. Um, so yeah, that was my only tips I can really give. That's literally what worked for me, but I suppose it works for different for a lot of people. Um, and it took me a long time. <laughs> like, I, I hated the way my body looked for literally years and years and years and years. It's only really this year that I've actually started to like the way I look. So, sorry, someone's hoovering. I'm just gonna wait till that stops and then carry on with the video. The next question is, what's the plan after uni? P.S. Love you. Love you too. Um, I don't really have one. <laughs> um, I didn't mind my degree, but I don't think it's really what I want to do. So I don't really know what the plan is. Um, it's just kind of going the fly, really. <laughs> but yeah. Okay, so the next one is what outfit makes you feel good? Again, I'm going to do a try on clip for this one. So that's going to be. I'll insert that now. Okay, so this question was what outfit makes me feel good? And I'm going to go for this one. It doesn't have to be this tall, but I just like the skirt. It makes me feel like. It's like a midi, so I'll try and tag this. They did, it was, I got it from Depop, but they do actually, they did still sell it when I bought it a couple of months ago on H&M, um, so I'll have a look and see if they still got it, but yeah, this is an outfit that makes me feel good. Oh, I never do it on a body suit when I'm filming. It's fine. It's fine. And then the next one, Instagram inspo. Oh my god, there's so many to list, like, I have so many, I don't know, like, literally everyone I follow inspires me in some way. Like, I get all my inspiration for, like, photos and stuff from different people on my, um, who I follow, and I don't know, just everyone. Everyone I follow inspires me in some way, so, yeah. It's the next, um, question is, what's your favourite part of the YouTube process? Um... Definitely not editing. That <laughs> I literally this is like my third video that I've still got to edit, and like they take like three hours each, and I just can't be bothered. And that's like basic editing. Like I don't even get into doing like good editing because I can't. Do, I'm not very good, so not that. But I don't know. I think thinking thinking of creative ideas and like, and I do very much like buying stuff to try out so <laughs> like hauls um i very much enjoy that my bank account doesn't but i do okay so who inspired you to start youtube i don't know i've like, i've wanted to start youtube si honestly since i was like 12 years old like i remember being in year nine and i sat next to a girl and she was like do you watch youtube and i was like no what's that <laughs> and she gave me like a whole list of all these youtubers that i went home and watched and literally ever since then, like, I loved it and I just wanted to do it. But I never actually got up the courage until now, so. So that was like nine years ago. It's taken me nine years. But I'm here now, so it's fine. Favourite place to buy jeans? Ooh. Topshop ones, I really like the awesome jeans. I said that before, but they're like my favourite. But they're so expensive. Well, sometimes I get them in the sale, but they are expensive. But for the cheaper version I actually really like Primark I know their mom jeans which are really good I've got one pair which I love and everyone raves about them as well and I really like their like high waisted skinny jeans but they've got like belt loops because I don't want like you know like the Joni jean style ones from Topshop not them but they've got belt loops and pockets and stuff so and I really like those um so yeah favourite positive quotation oh I should have googled this <laughs> googled one before I started filming let me do it now 
There's one I really like and I've always liked, but I'm going to try and find it now. I know it's a Coco Chanel um, quote. In order to be irreplaceable, one must always be different. So, yeah, I really like that. And I've liked that ever since, like, I was young. So that was probably my favourite one. So the next one is, on a scale of 1 to 10, how funny would you say you are? Probably about a 3, to be honest. I don't think I'm that funny. I always worry that people think I'm boring when they watch this. So, sorry if I am. Okay, so the next favourite, so uh, favourite clothing item currently, um, which I'm going to put in the try on clip as well. Okay, so the, one of the question was my top favourite ever clothing item, which are these shorts. Probably the best, yeah, my favourite ever, to be honest. I reckon they're definitely my favourites. Yeah. Why did you start this account or blogging? Um, just like loads of other people did, like were doing it and I followed loads of them on my Instagram, um, like on my personal Instagram. So I thought I'll just start it's a fashion account, like what could go wrong? So yeah, I really, I'm really enjoying it. I'm really glad I started. Favourite song at the moment? Oh, favourite song at the moment? Oh, this is hard. Oh, I don't actually know. I, re I don't... Uh, I just like loads of stuff, to be honest. I have like a real mixed playlist of like loads of different styles of music, so I really couldn't tell you like my favourite song out of all of them. As I know. Okay, oh, I think that's all of them. Yeah, just got some bots in there, in my question box, so... So, thank you so much for watching, um, and thank you to everyone who asked me questions on my Instagram. I hope to maybe do this again one day. Um, uh, but yeah if there's anything else i hope i do do some quick um, q and a's to my instagram stories sometimes so if you want to ask anything else just like make, keep an eye out for that and yeah so like and subscribe and everything and follow me on instagram which i'll put in the description and i'll link all my clothes and stuff i've shown you in the description as well so yeah bye see you next time